today I thought I would bring to you a back to school clothing haul. So basically I'm not actually going back to school this year I decided or back to college. Um, I just think I'm going to take a gap year because I did just finish my associates at FIT and then um, it's like another two years to finish your bachelor's so I'll probably end up going back to FIT but I am actually just taking the year off to work and hopefully internship at a, intern at a few places. But I have been doing some shopping recently and all of these clothes are definitely some pieces I'd be wearing if I was going back to school and all of them are really great for making kind of quick but cool outfits. And yeah, so I thought I'd share this with you guys and let's just get right into it. I've honestly been stocking up on a lot of basics which I think is really good for going back to school because they're really quick on making outfits if you have like a few different kind of printed pieces or funner pieces that you really like it's so easy to pick up just like kind of a plain t-shirt or something to make an outfit so I did get back to New York and had to get a few more of these t-shirts um, I've talked about these before on my channel but these reformation t-shirts are seriously so awesome I have a white one and a red and white striped one already and I had to go back for a few more so I picked up this light baby blue one, um, which I think is gonna look really cute with like a blue like pair of jeans like this would be really cute, or it's just like you can add this to anything or tie it, and they're so, so soft. I also got one in this charcoal gray color, which I also love. Um, and yeah, t-shirts are just perfect because you can just add them to pretty much anything to make a quick outfit in the morning because I know when I'm going to school, my main like obstacles are being quick and just feeling comfortable all day long when you can't really change. Um, so those were definitely two pickups that I had to get. And then I got this top just the other day. It's called the Bristol Top on the Reformation as well. And it's just these um, flared sleeves and then in the eco rib material, so it's super light and stretchy. And I just was in love with this top all summer, so I had to go for it. The white color is a little bit see-through, I'll warn you guys of that if you're considering getting this, but it's an easy fix. You can definitely just like wear something under it or not wear anything under it at all. Do what you gotta do. And yeah, I love this so much already. It would be really cute with like a flared skirt or even with just like jeans and a cool belt it's like amazing as well and then I did do a little bit of thrifting recently so I picked up this yellow top to start out with and you can't really go wrong with some lightweight kind of oversized tees yet again and I just thought this one was really nice I think it was two dollars and it almost doubles as two because if you flip it to the back it has these buttons, um, so it almost is like a Henley if you wanted to wear it backwards, which I thought was kind of fun. Um, that I would definitely wear it this way as well, so that was cool. And I don't really own yellow either, so I said, why not? I got this printed top, and it just has these like almost crocheted on the outside of these little polka dots, which is cute. And then this one's kind of see-through, which is kind of nice. You can wear like just like a lacy bralette under it and this would be really fun with like a striped skirt I thought or just like a different printed bottom. It would be really nice together and this is like $3 as well. It kind of dresses up your look a little bit more than just like a plain t-shirt. I bought this striped t-shirt as well from a thrift store. And the Reformation actually sells a t-shirt that looks almost exactly like this but this was way cheaper um, and it's just white stag I think is the brand which is just like a classic I think they probably sell it at like Walmart and this would be nice with almost like a necktie like I'm wearing but stripes just go with everything and or make an outfit I think stripes just like elevate an outfit or just make you look effortlessly cool I know it's like kind of cliche but it's I think it stands true I got this red top this was actually gifted to me by my friend Meg and it's this vintage DKNY top that she thrifted and I'm so blessed that she gave this to me. I'm so excited because she knows I really love bread. So she ended up giving it to me. And the back is awesome. It's like a V back and it has a little metal thing and it's just kind of stretchy. And I know this isn't dress code appropriate probably for you guys in like middle school and high school. But definitely for college you could wear this, which I thought was nice. I always like, like to add a little bit of bread. And I did pick up some bottoms as well. I feel pretty stocked on like bottoms so I didn't get like a lot of skirts or anything but 
I went thrifting the day before I left Colorado and I am really glad I did. I like made it a point the day as my flight was leaving. I like got up earlier and went to the thrift store. All summer I was looking for some really nice like Levi's, which I used to find them a lot, but I didn't really have luck all summer until this last day, which I got really lucky. So I found two pairs of Levi jeans in my size. They're both in 26s, which are so hard to find in thrift stores. You like usually find a lot bigger pairs. Um, so I found two pairs that actually fit me really nicely and I just cropped the bottom on both of them. Here's the other pair. The second one's at like a little thicker and in better condition. Um, and these are just 550s and I cropped the bottom on these as well because I just think they fit a little bit better that way. But a good pair of Levi's you can't really go wrong with. You can build so many outfits around it and I think for school that's just my go-to because I really don't go like all out when I'm at school a lot of the time because I just like don't feel like it. I have so much other stuff to worry about and in the mornings I'm like definitely a late sleeper so I don't wake up with a lot of time to get ready. And then I got another pair of jeans and I'm so freaking in love with these. They're in my um, back to school lookbook if you guys haven't seen that yet. And they're just this vintage pair of guest jeans and they have like the little guest logo on the butt which I ended up cutting the bottom of these because I think they just look better I'm just like in that crop phase like everyone is right now. I just feel like they fit better that way when they're like a little bit more flared at the bottom. And I got these off of Depop. I'll link the seller I got them from below because she has a lot of good stuff on there and I've just been looking for these jeans in my size for a really long time. I wanted a white pair of jeans because I think they look so cool. So excited to get them and if you guys are looking for jeans, definitely I would check out Depop just because sometimes you don't have access to thrift stores that are going to have like really nice Levi's and I know on Depop there's just like endless pages of like Levi jeans and normally like pretty reasonably priced as well which is really nice um, and yeah and I'm definitely adding some more stuff on my Depop as well I just moved back to New York and found a bunch of clothes that just are not gonna fit in my tiny new space so I'm gonna be putting them up sometime in the next week I think so definitely go follow me there if you have it it's linked in the description and yeah but these are amazing thanks so much for watching guys that's pretty much everything I picked up a lot of jeans and t-shirts but really you can't go wrong with that for back to school um, if you want some more outfit inspiration, I did put up a lookbook, which I mentioned, so I'll link that as well if you want to see some of these pieces in action. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys sometime this week.